Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss one of my favorite Excel functions. It is sum ifs. If you want to know what is the total purchases, so I have a list of customers, their names, what city and state they're in, how they found us, that's the advertising source. Auto sum is probably the most popular function in Excel. There's the total purchases for everyone. But if you want to know an exception to this or some criteria, I only want to know the total purchases for, as an example, Georgia. Well, I can come down here and there's a function in Excel we've had for years called sum if. I'm going to do it. I rarely use it anymore. I use the new ones called sum ifs with an S. But I still want to show you just how sum if works. Three arguments it's asking for. Range, criteria, and then sum range. Well, my range, I'm looking for Georgia. So that's going to be this range. Comma. I'm looking for GA, and that's still in column E, comma. Now, if you find it, what do you want to sum up? I want to sum up the purchases. So that is the sum if function, 6223. Let's take a quick look and see if that's right. Take a look down in the status bar in the bottom right. It says 6223, so that works. I'm going to put this formula here in just a second. I don't use sum if anymore because usually I'm looking for multiple criteria. So in Excel 2007 came out, they came out with sum ifs with an S. So here I go again. Equals, oh, let me put that formula there. I'm going to use the function formula text to show you how sum if worked. And just to keep up with this, there you go. So that was the sum if function. But now I'm going to use sum ifs. Notice it has an s at the end. It can do multiple criteria. One thing I want to point out, because I love this function, sum range is what starts it. With the sum if function, sum range was the last argument. So I'm going to highlight this first. Because you can have multiple criteria, that's why they put it at the front of the function. What criteria range one are you looking for? Comma, and I'm looking for GA. Same exact answer, I'll display that one for you. So that's the first one I did. But here's why I really like this function. I want to know who is in the total purchases for Athens, Georgia, as an example. So sum ifs, because it's impossible to do what I'm asking for with a sum if. Always highlight your numbers first, comma, criteria range one. I usually like to work from left to right. So I'm looking for GA, comma, criteria range two comma. I'm looking for Athens. Just so you know, I want to point this out. It is not case sensitive. I typed in Athens, all lowercase. But if you look there, it's got a capital A to start it. 3297. Let me go ahead and show you this real quick. Yeah, I know I could auto fill that down, but there's the formula. Let's see if it's correct. Take a look in the bottom right corner, 3297 is working. Now, let's get fancy with this. I'm going to leave that down there because I'm running out of real estate here. I'm going to put in state, I'm going to put in city, I'm going to leave the next one blank. I'm going to put in the word total. So instead of typing in the GA and typing in Athens, I can reference the cells equals sum ifs. So basically what I'm trying to tell you right now, I don't ever use sum if anymore without the s. I'm always with sum ifs. Always your numbers first, comma. What criteria range are you looking for? Perfect, comma. 
My criteria though for this first range is K2, comma, I highlighted the cities, comma, I selected Athens, that's it. 3297, we know what's right already. I changed this to Atlanta, quick test, 2926 down in the bottom right corner, so that's working. One more time, keep on going with this just to show you this. This one's going to be a little tricky. I want to see GA, and I left this empty intentionally, but for purchases over, um, look at here, let's do over a thousand. So here we go with this one. So it's going to be some ifs, purchases. Notice it always starts off with that range. Highlight, comma, you know, I'm going to pick GA, comma, criteria range two. This one always throws people off. So the sum range that I started with is also going to be a criteria. So I've actually selected that twice, comma, there is my criteria greater than 1,000. Let's see what we end up with here. Control Enter, 3, 1, 1, 2. I'm just going to manually do this. 1, 2. Bottom right corner, 3, 1, 1, 2. Let me give you a huge tip right here. In M3, I did greater than 1,000. I know a lot of people that say, I don't like you putting in that operator. I just want to do, because it says over, I just still want to do 1,000. Look, my total zero. So I'm going to edit this formula. So what you have to do is I'm still referencing M3. You have to put, I'm going to put the operator in quotes. Still going to be wrong. I'm going to prove that it's still wrong. Because what it's looking for is you want to reference the cell, you got to concatenate. So I'm going to do an ampersand, which was shift and the number seven. So now I should get the exact same answer again. Three, one, one, two. So there it is. So let me put that formula. I'm running out of room here. Close enough. Right there. Anyway, there's some if. Last one to do. Uh, I was thinking about this one. Someone wants to know, can you do... Notice I have North Carolina down here. Can you do... Assume I got all 50 states too. Can you do two states or more than two states? The answer is yes. I'm going to have to sum up some ifs. I want to know Georgia plus California, comma, criteria range, and here's the trick to this, comma, I'm going to use brackets, I'm looking for California, comma, I'm looking for Georgia, close the brackets, I think that is it, keep your fingers crossed. 11951, let's highlight it. 11951, that's worth showing, I believe. There you go. I put that in brackets. I did two states. I could have done six states, 12 states. So that is how I'm, that is how some ifs work. Huge fan. It's in my top 15 functions. I do it all the time at work. I do it all the time in real life. So get rid of some if and replace it with some ifs with an S. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a couple webinars coming up. Uh, it's the end of August. It's August 24th today. I'm going to do two webinars in September. The first one is going to be with Excel. And the second one I haven't decided what to do yet. Uh, so feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and also go to my website Chris Menard Training and right on the home page you can subscribe if you want to be notified about the webinars. Have a great weekend.